Yeah, obviously it's going to be a big game. It's crunch time of the season now. Um, yeah, we need to get the points, so it's really important. Um, we know Brisbane's a good team, so we're going to have to be at our best to get a win, and I think we're looking forward to it after the result we got on the weekend. Yeah, how does that, does that change or anything, that, that big win? Does it lift the mood? Is it, is it good to see those three guys combining at the front? Yeah, of course. I think, if anything, it gives us a lot of confidence. Um, the, in the recent weeks, we haven't been scoring as many goals as we did. Um, we've been conceding more goals, so... Yeah, of course, the game on the uh, last weekend gives us a lot of confidence um, going into the back end of the season. Yeah, Brisbane are on a bit of a, a roll themselves. Some of the players are playing contracts. They've got Jay o O'Shea on fire. What kind of a challenge is that facing them at Suncorp too? Yeah, of course. Um, Jay O'Shea is a very good player and we haven't beaten them all the year. So uh, we know how good they are. And if they're on, uh, they're very good. So um, we're going to have to be at our best and uh, play like we did on the weekend. So. Um, yeah, I have full confidence in the boys that we can get a result, so uh, I guess we'll see what happens. Personally, Joel, how, how do you feel now compared to when you got back to Australia, having not played for a while? Are you, are you feeling like you're, you're, you're progressing right so far? Uh, yeah, obviously I hadn't played for a few months um, when I got back, so a bit rusty, but um, I'm slowly finding my feet again, um, getting a bit more confidence, and yeah, hopefully I can... Um, continue to play better and um, help the team more. When you, when you got back, did you notice that the team was not the same as the one you left on the back of last season in terms of confidence? And with, had things changed? And where, from the team you found when you got back to Australia to the team today, what, what have you seen as a difference? Uh, I'm not too sure. Um, things are a bit different. I think we're playing the same sort of football, but just things weren't happening for us. Um, I don't want to put it down to luck or um, anything like that, but it seemed like things just weren't going our way. But um, yeah, it's just something we have to look at and uh, be better. So I think after the weekend's result, um, we've finally got a, a good result under our belt, so we can just build on that and um, take confidence from it. Is there a feeling of belief within the team? I mean, obviously the, you still believe, but it's much better when confidence is high after a, after a couple of wins. But if you make it into the finals, yeah, of course. I think we've always had belief, but now that we've had that result, it just yeah makes it stronger. And um, yeah, we know that if we're good on our day, we can go into the semis and um, make it all the way, really. So um, we're excited for that, and yeah, we'll see how it goes, I guess. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Yeah, um, Joe's a very good player. Um, we can see that it's just sometimes a bit unfortunate. Keepers are pulling off worldy saves, and uh, yeah, he's in the crossbar, just missing, whatever. Even the penalties we've missed this year, it's very unfortunate, but uh, we'll, we'll take it on the, on the um, chin, and yeah, we're not going to make excuses, so yeah. yeah. I mean, it hasn't been the, the perfect season from Sydney FC by any stretch, but how determined are you to, to get something out of it and turn it into a big positive? Yeah, of course. Um, I think the lucky thing is that there's finals now um, in Australia. It's the biggest thing, so we can, if we make um, something out of the finals, we can forget about the season and, um, yeah, hopefully get some silverware uh, in the finals. So I think our fans, fans deserve it, um, knowing that we're the biggest club in Australia. Um, they expect more and we understand that. So, um, yeah, hopefully we can um, give them some, something to be proud of. Do players feel it's different having always been the hunted for the last you know, three years? Yeah. After last year, coming through this year now to be hunting, is there, is there a difference for the playing squad? Yeah, I think so. Um, for the last couple of years uh, that I was playing, it was always like teams just want to beat Sydney. Uh, they're playing their best game of the season just to, uh, against Sydney. But now it's a bit different, but um, you still feel that when you're playing games, people want to beat Sydney and rub it in their faces or whatever. But um, yeah, it's a bit different now, but I still think it's a, a similar vibe. Mike, anything from you? Yeah, hey Joel, uh, mate, just interested to know how the mentality from the, amongst the squad has changed. I guess if you look back a month ago and you had that derby defeat, um, it sort of felt like everything, you know, the walls were crumbling in. How does it feel now um, to be looking like you'd be heading towards the finals with a bit more momentum? Yeah, like I said before, uh, we've always had belief and confidence, but 
we just weren't getting results. So now that we've got results, it's um, yeah, just it's more more clarity in the boys, and um, yeah, I think we're just confident and can't wait to uh, cement our spot in the finals and see how far it takes us. Just one more for me. Um, as a defender, I just I think you got one clean sheet in the past eight games. As a defender, does that sort of start to challenge you? I guess personally, do you, do you guys take that uh, personally, or is it more just about as long as you're winning, you, you're happy? Uh, yeah, obviously as a defender you don't want to be conceding goals. Um, I think personally, I wouldn't say it's personal, but as a group, a collective, back four and the goalkeeper, we, we uh, do our best and, um, to keep a clean sheet. So it's disappointing that we haven't had many this season, um, but it's yeah, something we can work on and um, look forward to and um, hopefully get more in the future.